Hello anybody, I am El Package Rule, and this is XCOM Enemy Unknown. That's right, I'm back with some more XCOM Enemy Unknown. We're picking up pretty much exactly where we left off. I pretty much um, started this recording right after uh, that, um, that first one, because I'm enjoying this game, and hopefully you guys are as well. I can't know that yet, because I can only talk to future self, Robert. Uh, but anyway, um... We pretty I'm much have some research going here, yeah. What it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here? Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. There must be, Dr. Volan. You should you can figure it out, I believe in you. So anyway, uh, xenobiology should get finished soon, but um, basically we're just waiting for things to finish right now and we can go ahead and get to um, the next stuff. Okay, cool. So new access lift has uh, been finished. Now the reason that's good is that allows us access to this whole area and we're going to excavate a bunch here, which is going to cost a bunch of money, but we should... Um, Basically, we're waiting on next month's funds anyway, uh, already. So, um, it is the 6th of March, which means next month's funds are going to come a long way away. But, we're good. Okay. We have, uh, we have a UFO contact. So, this is a new thing, uh, that we haven't dealt with yet. Our raven is about to fly out and, uh, and deal with this as well. Uh, and hopefully it can do that. Now, there's not much to the interception mechanic. Not as much as I would have liked, really. It's not as much as, uh, as like, Xenonauts, say. Uh, where you we can actually directly control. But, uh, it's fine. I mean, it's, it's still pretty cool. Th you do get some, like, special powers eventually. Uh, where you can do things. Looks like we missed one of our avalanche missiles. But, we shot down the target UFO. Which is awesome. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retest recon satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. I agree with that recommendation. We are ready to, uh, to send our Sky Ranger here. Now, we are going to change out some things. Like, for instance, uh, we will have Fishbread in the party as our sniper, which is awesome. But, we do not need Tyra Banks to be in the party. Um, and we can pretty much get anybody. So, I think I'm going to get... Um, I'm going to get an Assault, uh, who does not yet have a name, so we're going to have to customize his name. His first name, uh, let's see, he's a Russian guy. You know what? We're going with, uh, Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, that's right. Dolph Lundgren. Uh, specifically his character from Rocky 3, or Rocky 4. Actually, what the hell is his na the name of his character in Rocky... Drago? Oh, oh, what am I thinking here? Uh, Ivan Drago. Um is going to be on our team, and he's going to be great because he's just going to go around like owning fools, and it's going to be great, but his hair color does need to change. He is super duper blonde. Okay, not purple at all. Okay, no, not white either. Uh, I want like, like really, really, there's like, yeah, there we go, that's good. Uh, and let's change his hair up to make it, because there is a flat top in this game. I think that was it. I think we, oh no, wait, maybe not. Oops, I changed the hair color. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, flat top. Fantastic. And uh, let's change his head just a little bit so he looks more like Ivan Drago. There we go. That's Ivan Drago for you. And uh, and we are going to make him... Uh, well, I want to make him red as well. Let's make him... Actually, you know what? Real badasses... Actually, no, that's cool. That's <laughs> that's good. He's, uh, he's the red... He's red for Soviet Russia, which he represents. Uh, because he's out of Soviet Russia. He, was, he, he never lived in Russia when it became uh, different. I did change up their colors just a little bit. We have uh, Hermione Granger, and she's in all black. Because I figured they were, all, they were all black at Hogwarts, right? And Brad Pitt is our uh, golden commando with um, all golden out, uh, which is good. And he shall be our heavy. However, um, I think we want to actually clear out... Yeah, I think we're going to clear out Hermione because I want to level up another... I want to level up another soldier. Shigeru Watanabe. Well, Shigeru, I think uh, you already have 
the first name that I want. I think you've decided for me. We are, of course, going to have Shigeru Miyamoto, uh, the creator of the Mario Brothers. Uh, and he's a little bit lighter skin than that. Yeah, he's like, he's a pale dude. Uh, so go with that. Let's see if we can't do uh, different hair. Does he have long he has He has, like, kind of long hair. Uh, so let's see if we could get something like that. Mm, doesn't look like it. That kind of works. Alright, Shigeru Miyamoto is on our team. The creator of the Mario Brothers and uh, Donkey Kong and all that stuff is going to be on our team. And uh, Ivan Drago, actually, uh, we are going to change his loadout because I actually I just don't like shotguns in this game. I'm not a big fan. Um, you have to get really close to hit anybody with a shotgun. Uh, but we're going to try to level up uh, Shigeru Miyamoto and make him uh, powerful. Hopefully, uh, we can do so. It's always good to kind of level up, get a rookie on the team, level him up a bit, um, so that... We oh, I didn't have a med kit. Site, That's an issue. Down. But we're going to have to begin the assault without a med kit. Listen That's up. a bummer. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. Okay. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. I, too, hope that they stay clear. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get in here. Now, snipers are great. I love snipers. Uh, they're pretty much probably my favorite class. But early, they are not as good. Because basically, um, oh shite. Okay, um, so that's partly why I don't like it, because we had to move up Fishbread into a position where he's covered, but like not as well as I would like him to be. So, we're going to get even Drago up here and put him on Overwatch just in case these aliens decide they want to they wanna mess around. Um, and let's see, we have Brad Pitt here, who is our heavy. Uh, can you get... We're going to move you in up over here. I think he has the shot. No, he doesn't. Okay, well... Then we're just going to move him in up over here. Is he going to be... Yeah, he'll, he'll be good. Now, Fishbread might take some damage here, which would be a shame. Uh, but there's really not much we can do about that. There's no shot here, right? Okay, so we're going to get up, up, up on over here. Um, we're going to overwatch. Now, the thing is, Fishbread might take some damage because he's in a bad position. But the thing is, snipers can't actually move and shoot at the same time unless you get the upgrade for it. Uh, which we do not have yet. Okay, he just overwatched, which is good, because now what this means is we can get uh, fish bread, and we can take a shot. Uh, he's got a shot on that guy, too. Oh, he's got a better shot. He's got, like, the same shot there. And we're going to headshot as well, just to make sure that we crit if we can hit him. Yeah! Look at that fish bread. Badass. He just got two kills. That is awesome. Okay. So, we have dealt with that. But the thing is about snipers is I kind of have to dash him everywhere so that he's in position next turn, basically. Um, but these guys, I can kind of be a little bit safer and not dash them. However, I'm still going to dash them anyway because I'm an idiot. Um, and I like to make poor decisions. Can we get over here? Yeah, okay. And let's get you on up over here. Cool. We shouldn't see any aliens this turn, which is good. Um, but we desperately want a sergeant really bad, because uh, then we could get that officer training upgrade. Um, so Shigeru Miyamoto, actually, you know what? You're our rookie, Shigeru. I'm sorry to say it, but uh, you are kind of our meat shield. Okay. Looks like there aren't any aliens anywhere. Uh, why can't I see that? Do I have to move up? Yeah, I do. Uh, we are going to move you into position over here, because we know that there aren't any aliens here, Ivan Drago. Um, so you're probably pretty safe. And Brad Pitt, who is our heavy, uh, can move up over here, because it's, again, also pretty safe. Uh, we don't have to worry too much. And uh, Fishbread can move again. And he can pretty much just, uh, you know, run wherever he wants to. Which will be right here. He probably won't be able to fire next turn, or fire in the next few turns. But he's already got two kills on this mission, so not a big deal, man. Uh, we are going to have to get into the enemy ship, which is going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, oh, we see aliens. That's interesting. So, does Brad Pitt have a shot? Brad Pitt does have a shot. He has a pretty good shot, actually. 
Uh, alright, Brad Pitt, take the shot. Yeah! He critted him, which means he should be dead. Oh, okay, that was odd. That was a weird little glitch there. Uh, but, you know, whatever. It happens, I guess. Um, we are gonna move up Ivan Drago. Ivan Drago, I will break you! He's just yelling that he will break us, like, all over the place. Uh, which is, which is jerkish of him to do, but it's fine, you know, we understand, I mean, even Drago, he's, he's a character, he, he, you know, he murdered Apollo Creed, um, he, he, he does whatever he wants, you know, he can't really control Yvonne Drago, uh, too well, so, you know. Alright, looks like the sectoid is there, um, I don't think he's activated our overwatch, if we overwatched at all, I think we did. We could have not overwatched. Uh, Miyamoto is ready to go, but the question is, where did I put Fishbread? Fishbread's right up here, isn't it? Alright, and Fishbread's got this shot. Oh, not really. Well, you know what? Take it. If you can hit it... Oh my god, did he hit a 35% chance? Yes, he did. Look at that. Fishbread, the proest member of the goddamn team. That is amazing. Um, now... Okay, so, what we're going to do to be safe is we're going to get guys moved up over here. Shigeru Miyamoto. He is right, to that is an outsider. Like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Okay, so, what we're going to do right now is we are going to use uh, Ivan Drago's run-and-gun move, which allows us to dash and fire on the same turn. And uh, how we're going to use that is we're going to get up in here, up in his grill. Actually, can we hit him from there? Let's, let's just be sure and go, like, right here where we can definitely hit him and get a little bit better of a shot. 40% uh, is still not that much better, to be honest. Yeah, he's still going to miss. That's fine. Not a big deal. We got a shot on him. Uh, we do not have a shot over here, which is a bummer. So that we're going to have to move him up in here. Good work, Brad Pitt. And uh, the outsider should probably take a shot at Ivan Drago. Indeed, he did. But he missed, which is really lucky. We, we are getting extremely lucky as far as all this stuff is concerned. Um, however, what we are going to do... Now, he's got a shot. He probably has a pretty good shot. No, he doesn't. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I didn't want to take that shot. Well... Wow, and he actually hit. How did you do that, Shigeru? I mean, maybe it's just because he knows how games work, man. That's That's got to be it. And Drago took it, took him down. And uh, and that was it. We didn't even need to... Um, we didn't even need to invade the ship. That's that's pretty cool, man. I like, uh, I like how that works. That works for me. Now, we're going to get back to base, which is going to take a while for some reason. Fantastic. I don't know what we gained from that mission. Performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. I agree. Sadly, we should have let Shigeru Miyamoto take that last shot. However, we didn't, because I'm an idiot. So, you know, whatever. Okay, so... You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. That's and how not do very much. It was like two, two days stop. of the XCOM project. The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause mirror Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I could construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Yori, I mean, I, I heard it. I was there. I can, I can see everything. 
uh, so I'm cool. Okay, so, um, we have a new objective to capture a live alien because we have an alien containment facility, uh, that we can build now. Um, cool. Uh, and I guess we might as well, yeah, we might as well level this, this arc thrower. This technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. Sounds good, lady. Alright, so, we can build a containment facility, but we need 85 bucks. So, uh, we're gonna get to the gray market real quick, because we used up a lot of our money. expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece. Much less alive. Yeah, I totally agree. You talk a lot. Alright, anyway, um, we are going to sell these flight computers here, because they're damaged and they have no research benefit. Um, so we have 73, and we could probably sell a Commander, few... The yeah, yeah. We're about to sell to Jesus the Christ. ...hasn't been examined by the research team. I'm sure Dr. Fallon would be disappointed if we put financial gains ahead of our own research and development. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. All right, you don't like the idea. That's that's cool. But uh, now we have enough credits uh, to go in here and build a containment facility. I think she wanted the containment facility, am I right? So we're going to go ahead and build that for her. Um, and now we are low on power also, which means we're going to need a power generator very soon. Uh, because that's something else that you have to keep in mind uh, when you are considering what you're doing. So anyway, uh, let's jump back into the mission selection screen and, uh, and wait for things to level up. Okay, excavation is complete. Alright, abduction site's good. several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Good, I'm glad that you do. Okay, so we have uh, France... The United States and South Africa. Four engineers are good, but we kind of need to help France a little bit. So let, let me let me just go back real quick and uh, look at the Situation Room and look at our stuff. I mean, Addition France is kind of required. upset, but God, why is everybody so freaked out? I guess mostly because we're over there. Ah, not really. I mean, I don't know, man. Why are they so freaked out already? That's that's really early for them all to be at panic level two. Um, okay, well, I think we're gonna ignore France for right now, and uh, and we're gonna go and get the engineers because the engineers are kind of necessary if we're gonna get the satellite uplinks. And I think this is gonna be a long term uh, solution. That is, I'm pretty sure that's not where South Africa is. Yeah, that's South Africa. Good work. Okay. So anyway, let's uh, let's get to South Africa. Now, uh, we're gonna give Miyamoto a uh, a med kit because no, no, we're gonna give him a med kit because he kind of needs one, uh, and uh, we can pretty much keep the team as it is. We can maybe swap out Drago for someone else. Oh, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we are going to swap out since Brad Pitt did such a poor job in the last mission by completely missing. Actually, I think he had a really good hit. Uh, but uh, So we're going to keep Ivan Drago in there, and we're going to clear Brad Pitt, and we're going to put in Tracy Henry, who is a lady, and I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. I wanted to make, I wanted to get a dude in there uh, because I want to... Um, uh... I want to bring back... I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it, but I kind of want to bring back, uh... Uh, Corporal Captain Butt Butt. But, uh, we may do that very soon. Very shortly. Eventually, Corporal Captain Butt Butt will make a return. If you guys remember the Xenonauts Let's Play, then you'll remember Corporal Captain Butt Butt. And you should remember Corporal Captain Butt Butt because... Strike one. Prepare for landing. He was a master. Anyway, let's, uh, let's begin the assault in South Africa. We're heading to South Africa for this one. And we need to get down there fast. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Alright, let's do this. I don't like this map. I've played on this map before. I'm not a fan. There's not a lot of places for cover. There's an easy... It's very easy for you to get, um... This is Big Sky. Flanked. Team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to engage. Okay. So it's about that big. Uh, maybe I actually haven't played on this map before. It looks a bit different, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and get, uh, Miyamoto up here, and then we'll get Miyamoto up there. Let's see if he can't find some aliens. Ah, he did find some aliens. 
Okay, we got more sectoids on the roof. Sucks for Miyamoto, but he's probably fine. Okay, looks like the sectoids are over there, so we're gonna get Ivan Drago. Drago, why can't I see your... Okay, there we go. Um, we're gonna get him on up over here. Brad Pitt! And uh, you're gonna go on Overwatch. Uh, Fishbread, we are gonna have to move him up to probably right here. And then we can get Drago moving. And we'll move Drago up up here as well. And I think we should be safe because they don't actually have high ground anymore. Oh shit, more sectoids. So Fishbread, yet again, is in a bad position. Uh, but, you know, hopefully that means that he can take a good shot. Alright, looks like he's getting mind melded. What sucks is they get a movement and then they get a... Oh, come on, more? Alright, so we've activated six uh, sectoids uh, at a time, which they get two extra movements, which is great. Brad Pitt, take the shot. Did he hit him? I can't tell. Yeah, he took him out. Did five damage. Good work, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, master of disaster. Oh, no! Oh, no! Fish Bread is dead! What? He got critted! Fish Bread! No! No! How did that happen? Oh, my God! You only made it to episode two, Fish Bread! <sighs> That's terrible. That's terrible. That's I feel horrible. I feel I feel awful. As I I don't know what to tell you, Fishbread. I I just I didn't know that like all of the aliens were gonna be goddamn activated in one go. Oh, we can't get him back. That sucks. Fishbread is dead. Well, you know what's gonna happen, Fishbread, or a fish of bread, is you're gonna get another homage-like character. You're always gonna be on the team, Fishbread. You may not be our sniper, but you'll always be on the team. Shigeru Miyamoto is going to try to avenge your death right now. And he missed. He missed just like the Wii U will. Zing! All right. Uh, let's get you moved. Uh, can we even... Uh, we'll move you over here. I know that there's one in that house, so I think it's still safe to move him up over here. And he has a shot. What are his shots looking like? 50%? 50%. Well, you know what? Actually, how are your frags looking? Uh, nothing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Drago, you know what? You are just gonna go into Overwatch for right now. And, uh, oh man, I can't believe Fishbread is dead! That is terrible! That's so terrible! Okay, we're going to move up Brad Pitt, and we're going to get him back in Overwatch, because he seems like he is an Overwatch master, uh, which is great. God damn it. Fishbread dies so quickly. He got uh, just an unlucky crit, but you know what? That's XCOM for you. That's what happens uh, in XCOM. Oh, come on. All right, see? It only did two damage, so their crit did like three times as much damage. Okay, so we have to pay attention. Yeah, we can't really move out at all uh, because those guys have shots. Okay. God! I am so sad that Fisher, Fisher bread. I'm so, I, I apologize. I, there's nothing else I could really do about things. Okay, so uh, we can't move out, which is bad because Drago's in a really bad position. Uh... God, I don't like this map. You see why I don't like this map? Do you get why I don't like this map? Uh, we are gonna fire on him. Miyamoto missed, of course. Which is great. Um, what do you got? 50%, 50%. Now the question is, where is he being... Uh, he's being... He's being... Okay. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get Drago back into Overwatch. Although, does he have a grenade that he can throw? I can hit this guy. You know what? You're going to hit this guy. The reason he's going to hit this guy... Does he not have the shot? It looks like it works. Okay, there we go. Drago, here you go, baby. Did some damage. That's good to see. Uh, and we have a rocket. Now, we are going to rocket the fuck out of these dudes. 
if we can hit him. God, just stop it. Uh, rocket movement is annoying in this game. Can we get both of them? No, it seems like we can only get one. That's fine. We will, we will take one. One works for me. As long as he can hit, of course. Yeah, okay. There we go. We murdered one of them, which is good. Hopefully Drago doesn't go down. But he could get critted. God, I can't believe Fishbread died. I can't believe he died! What are the odds? What are the odds of one unlocking all those aliens, and then two having them, like, murder Fishbread with one shot? What are the odds? They're very low, I'll tell you that much. Okay, he's gonna hit Drago again. But he missed, so that's good. Uh, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna overwatch? Okay, he's gonna fire at Drago, and he hasn't flanked. But luckily he missed. Now, we're gonna have to move Drago back, probably. Um, and there are four more sectoids. Oh god, everybody's shooting at Drago. Okay, one actually hit him. Uh, Drago, you're gonna have to get the hell out of there. What? Okay, I was gonna say, they don't have another, another team member. Okay, Drago... You gotta get back, bro. Because otherwise you're dead. And I don't want another dead soldier. We already lost one on this mission. I told you that I don't like this goddamn map. Uh, 47% is not very good. What about you? 45%. I think we're just gonna have to take these shots. They're not shots that I want to take. Hey, Miyamoto got the kill. Good work. And he'll probably level up and become something else. Um... And Brad Pitt got the kill too. Wow. Care of that was pretty lucky. That was a lucky round of things. So good work, Brad Pitt. You were great in Inglorious Bastards. Uh, which is where you got all of your training from, of course. They're falling back. Are they falling back? Because it looks like he's moving forward. I'm just going to be honest with you. Okay, now. Um. We're gonna... Yeah, we're going to dash up Shigeru Miyamoto. Ah. We have a 45% chance to hit. What do you have? 47. Let's take the shot. Let's see if we can't get it. No, we're gonna miss. It's a shame. Got no ammo. That is not good. Uh, and we're just going to overwatch with him. You, my friend, are going to hunker down so that you get a little bit extra defense. Ick. That did not work out. Who's our other sniper? Is it Tyra? I think it's Tyra. Tyra's our other sniper. Okay, so, um, here's what we're going to do, is we are going to move him up over here. Oh, you have to reload. Farts! That's not good. Okay, so. Ready to engage. You don't have to reload, however. So we're going to move Miyamoto up over here as well, um, and we're going to put him on Overwatch. I was going to do that the opposite way, by the way. Uh, is it was what my plan was, but I forgot that uh, that Brad Pitt actually does have to reload his gun. Now I'm probably gonna get shot at and probably gonna take damage um, because it didn't work out exactly as I had planned to be sure. Oh no, not so much. Okay, cool. Um, now you should have a pretty good shot. 47 still, hey. Okay, what about uh, what about you? You can move up. I think the other alien might be on Overwatch. No, he's not. But we do have a shot. 45%. Huh? Interesting. Um, where can you get to? No, no, no. We want him. We want to look over here. Yeah, we're going to get you right up on here. 47. Alright, we're gonna hit and see if we can hit. No, we missed. Okay, so that 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 makes my decision for me, I think. Um, I'm gonna hit him. Alright, cool. So now we only have one sectoid to deal with. 
Uh, and you can go ahead and hunker down, Drago, because you're just going to be chilling. Straight up, just straight chilling. Because you took a little bit too much damage. That shouldn't hit, right? Yeah, no. I mean, his chance to hit has to be like 20%, if even that. So we definitely have to reload, so we're going to reload. Uh, you're going to hunker down as usual, Drago. And you have a shot here, 47%. Take it and see if we can get it. Probably won't, but uh, but that's fine. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I actually should have overwatched to be honest, but um, that's fine. Wow, lucky miss, lucky miss. Miyamoto, you're gonna take this shot as well. Yeah. And the reason he's gonna take this shot is I want him to level up. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, Brad Pitt's got it. No, no, no. Hunker down, Drago. And uh, you should win here. Are you going to miss, really? Wow. Wow. I, th I could have sworn that I would have I would have got him here. He's flanked, so he's going to take a bunch of damage. Okay, so we have to kill this alien. Uh, this has to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to move him over here. Shigeru Miyamoto, you've got the shot, right? Yeah, you've got him flanked. Kill him. There we go. And that no should be the last e alien. Another okay, day. good. Another successful operation. Um, that was not a very good mission. We lost fish bread, and then we also managed to injure uh, two of our squaddies. But um, good news is we can see what class Shigeru Miyamoto has become. So that's good. At the very least. Okay, so Brad Pitt leveled up, which is great because now he has hollow targeting. Um, this one is bullet swarm firing the primary weapon as the first action no longer ends the turn. Um, that's okay, but this is great. So shooting at or suppressing enemies also confers plus 10 aim to any allies' attacks on those enemies. This is part of the reason why I love heavies is because you can take a shot, if, even if you have just no shot, and what it'll do is it'll set up a shot for your sniper or anybody else, which is what I love. So, I'm glad that Brad Pitt has become a corporal, and Shigeru Miyamoto is also a heavy. Interesting. Um, well, I do like using heavies, like I've said. So, that's good. But Fishbread is dead. He had four kills and three missions, too. Uh, that's a bummer. That's a big bummer. Brad Pitt's got five kills, though. Shigeru got three. Yeah. All right. Well. Um. Anyway, we got Remember, four, we and panic watching. has increased in North America. Our panic levels are pretty darn high. I want to say, uh, which is a bit of an issue, and uh, it's not looking good so far for us immediately. Like right off the bat. Um, okay, so we have 13 engineers, which is good because then that means we can build another satellite uplink. Uh, however. Uh, that doesn't matter much because we don't have the money unless we have, let's see, do we have anything to sell? Not really. Okay. That's a bummer. Um, so we're just gonna have to deal with that, but that seems like a good place for the end of the episode, I think. Uh, with the, with the death of Fishbread, who will, who will return, my friends. He will return, Fishbread. And so will Cap Corporal Captain Butt-Butt. Of course, his name will probably be Captain Butt-Butt. Um... Uh, because uh, because the the highest rank in this game, as you'll see here, if we view the soldiers, uh, the highest rank out of them all, no, not the loadout, I want the abilities, is uh, Colonel or oh, Corporal is the second. Okay, so I guess your name's just gonna be Captain Butt Butt. Maybe he should just be Corporal Captain Butt Butt. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll we'll get him going in a little bit. And Fishbread. You shall return, my friend. You shall return. I believe in you. Um, and uh, before we go, we can we can view the memorial and see Squatty Fishbread. There's a knife in the table. Those are my shot glasses. They're all my shot glasses. Everyone here, it was a uh, it was a morale loss. He was he was one of the greatest members of the team. But uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Never forget. Squatty Fishbread. This is Alpaca Patrol. Signing out. Peace, fools.